Philips Respironics recalled millions of CPAPs, BiPAPs, and ventilators after the FDA said foam insulation inside those machines was a health risk. But in a lawsuit, Philips says an Erie-based testing firm greatly exaggerated the health risk and then covered up its mistakes. Don Schreiber of Pleasant Hills is one of millions of Philips CPAP users whose machine was recalled. For me, it was a lot of inconvenience. For a lot of other people, it was significant health issues. The breathing machines were recalled after the FDA received reports of health problems and even cancer-related deaths from people using the machines. In this lawsuit, Philips says its own consultant, PSN Labs, found toxic chemicals in the machine's insulating foam. But Phillips says PSN committed egregious errors in its testing and analysis. When PSN learned of the errors, Phillips says the company tried to cover up its mistakes. Phillips says they spent hundreds of millions of dollars on the recall and would have done a more limited recall if PSN did not make serious mistakes and overestimate the potential threat to patients. Action News Investigates made repeated attempts to contact PSN executives, but they did not respond. Schreiber is skeptical about the allegations by Phillips, especially coming months after the company agreed to a billion-dollar settlement with patients like himself. It's all kind of funny now that after the settlement's been reached that uh, we, oh, oh, there's a problem here, guys. Let's hold up a minute. He expects the legal battle between Phillips and its consultant will delay the resolution of the court case. I'm not going to believe anything until I actually have a check in hand and it's cleared. A spokesperson for the lawyers suing Phillips says this new lawsuit will have no effect on the billion dollar settlement announced earlier this year. Phillips is planning to close down this office in Bakery Square and also greatly reduce its operations at local manufacturing plants. Reporting from Shadyside, Paul Van Osdall, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.